Okay, so um, this is my second video for uh, tasting hot peppers. And uh, the first one was the uh, Devil's Tongue, which uh, it was an unripened one. We'll do another one with um, that's more ripened, and uh, hopefully you guys can, can see how hot that sucker is. Um, I did another one recently, but didn't turn out too well, um, of a Jamaican hot chocolate pepper. Uh, that sucker was hot, but that's not what we're here for today. So today, we are here for this. This is a goat's weed pepper. It's unique in that, um, unlike most peppers, the stems and the leaves uh, become fuzzy, furry, very soft to the touch, and the pepper goes from green to black to red. Um, <clears throat> I think that the Scoville somewhere for this is probably uh, maybe the same as uh, Serrano, maybe a little, little hotter than that. So, um, here we go. Very good flavor. Very juicy. A little bit of bite to start with in the back of the throat. A little chewy, a little chewy. It was a nice heat. It's a nice smooth heat. It's a nice smooth rolling heat. It doesn't just like bam and then all this intense heat. It's a gradual build right now. <clears throat> and it's moved from the back of my throat towards the front, up near the, the roof of my mouth. Not really the tongue, not really the lips. <clears throat> it's building. Uh, very good. It's even, even building more. <clears throat> I think that's stronger than a Serrano. Not by a lot, but definitely stronger. I don't know if you can see. My eyes are getting a little red. <clears throat> well, that is, that is a pretty strong little pepper. <clears throat> really back of the throat. Not as much in the front, but uh, it's gradually gone there, but the, the real heat of it's in the back. I think I'm getting close to its peak. <clears throat> that is a good pepper. <clears throat> a little bit of nose starting to run. Yeah, nose. That's where it's at. Right on the front of your face. <clears throat> The peppers know how to find it. Whew. Ooh, that's hot. Nothing like the Jamaican hot chocolate I had the other day. <clears throat> Which, by the way, I will do again for entertainment purposes. That pepper I could not sit still on. I had to get up and, and definitely do some walking around. <clears throat> we are 4 minutes and 17 seconds into this. I think it's definitely reached its peak. It's a good, um, I think it's just starting to level off. <clears throat> and starting to taper. Starting to feel the heat in the stomach <clears throat> already. Um, yeah, definitely tapering off quickly. <clears throat> it's not gone yet, but Definitely quickly. So, as you can see, that wasn't more than oh, 
maybe a couple inches uh, in length. There are much bigger ones out there on the plant. I don't know if you can see this. There's still some, some seeds packed in there. But for a little guy, that guy packs a little bit of a wallop. <clears throat> Can't wait to turn that into some barbecue sauce or more correctly, have Julie cook that into our, into some barbecue sauce. So that's the goat's weed pepper. Um, I will come back with other peppers that I'm growing in the garden. And uh, I will see you then.